Hello, hello everyone and welcome in to my channel, Skies and Flora. My name is Shaka and um, thank you for joining and thank you for watching. So this is just a general, just a general energies um, for the week ahead um, from the 3rd of July to the 10th. So uh, officially into the month of July, officially into high summer now. Um, so again, this is just a pick a card reading. It's just generally picking up the energies, what to look out for this week, um, what to be thinking about, um, what energies you're working with. Um, so again, just let me know in the comments if it resonates and, um, and also just let me know if there's any other questions you'd like to see me cover on my channel um, or even any topics you'd like me to discuss. So without further ado, we will get into it. So we have pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. There's always three piles. So take a moment, drop into your heart. And just connect to whatever it is you need to know for this week. And then we'll begin. Okay, so welcome in pile number one. He chose the, this is the witch's tarot this is. I'm gonna get some um, energy oracle cards as well. So I'm gonna get three of these, just give us the overall energy. Okay, what energies are we working with? Pile number one, what energies are we working with? Whoever's watching this, please. Let's get three cards. Nice, Angel of Strength, okay. Yin and Yang, Patience, all right, okay. So, Needing to be strong, working with some opposite energies here, working with a bit of polarity, um, and needing to be patient, needing to take time. You've got these two patient, angel of strength, just be strong, be patient, and you're working with this yin and yang. So this could be a relationship, we'll see. Um, so spirit, let's just clarify with the cards. But part number one, whoever's watching, please, what is the energy they're working with this week, please? Let's see what comes out. <clears throat> what are the energies this week? What are the energies this week? Okay, take those. All right, King of Wands, Hanged Man, Seven of Pentacles. Again, patience. All right, so someone here is raring to go, but sort of at a bit of a full stop here. Let's see. Um, what are the energies? Part number one, whoever's watching, please, Spirit. Five of Pentacles, okay. One more. Okay, two more. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Justice and then we've got the Four of Swords. All right, so this is feeling like recovery here. This is feeling like you know, having to conserve our energy and recover, basically, is what I'm seeing, recovery. So this might be literally from illness. Um, and so for someone, this might be that, you know, you're recovering from being ill. You kind of got this real, you know, whether this feels like, you know, your, your, your energy is ready to go, but maybe your body is tired. It'd be the body's ill. Maybe you're having to rest your body. This is a time for being strong and rebuilding your strength um, and, and just having patience and care with yourself. And with this King of Wands, it really feels like there's an energy here that wants to get on, wants to move, wants to go. Um, but, you know, again, we see the Hanged Man and the Seven of Pentacles really talks about, yeah, patience, waiting. And really when you when you don't want to be, particularly the King of Wands isn't gonna wanna be hanging around. Um, and if this has been illness, if this has been, it's been a pause that's happening, um, if you're worried about money, I'm going to get some clarifiers in this pipe five of pentacles. So if you're kind of worried about money, so if there's, you know, you've had to take time off work, um, 
and really just want to get back to work and kind of get back to doing things and, and you you're being prevented somehow and this this like i said this could be through illness or something else um and this five of pentacles just says to me you, you're worried about money worried about um or and, it, and if that's not money that might just be energy worried about not being able to get back to where i was um before there's been this pause But justice is saying you've got to rebalance the yin and yang balance. It's like, um, like I said, you're kind of being asked to work with that polarity. This at one end, which is like king of wands, ready to go, ready to move, ready to just put all your fire energy behind something. And then like this pause, which is like, okay, having to sit, having to wait, having to hold off. Um, these two polar energies um, and justice is saying I mean that's saying that that there's a reason for this pause yeah so there's also about trusting that um, and gathering your strength at this time ready when you know when the doors open again and you're ready to move but this is a time for healing even reassessment I want to say there's been a reason for this pause um, it's helping you to um, uh you know re recourse what's that what's oh, i always forget my words i'm sorry um but re you know like it's almost like you're kind of redialing in on your on the course that you're meant to be on so always trust you know whenever you see these pauses they're frustrating particularly when you're like ready to go but it's there's a reason for this let me get some clarifiers on this five of pentacles um please spirit clarify this five of pentacles for me What's the fear here? What's the fear, please? Spirit. Yeah, okay. So this is definitely feels like... So you've got the Hierophant. So you've got five of ones and the Hierophant. So you've got another five here. Um, and, the, and the Hierophant is a five. So you, you're, you, 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 this is about change, yeah? This is something changing and shifting. You're a little bit concerned about that because the high priest here in this deck, it's called the high priest, this is obviously the hierophant, represents structure, institution, represents really conservative values. And I don't mean conservative with a capital, conservative with a small c. Um, a kind of establishment, this is the way it's always done, this is the way it always will be done, yeah? So it's kind of, um, you know, structure, basically. Structure and hierarchy, um, lineage. So linear, lineage, obviously very masculine energy in that sense. And then you've got the five of wands, which is like kicking up dust. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like moving, getting things moving, coming up against. So this is like very, very, again, polar opposites. You kind of got the high priest who represents stability, structure, maintaining old values. And then you've got the five of wands, which is like, kick this all up to the ground and like, let's create change. So that's the process you're in at the moment. Again, polarity. This definitely feels more in the area of work um, than relationships. So it's feeling like whatever, and you know, this, you know, this could very well uh, be a very specific message for someone. Um, you know, the global pandemic has really changed everything for a lot of us, changed the way we work. You know, um, particularly here in the West, um, well, look, you've got the Knight of Pentacles there, <laughs> which is very relevant to what I was about to say. Um, you know, uh, like for us in the West, like Western countries, just yes, Europe, UK, America, uh, North America, um, you know, it's very A type um, culture that we live in. So it's very, very go getter, very, very attainment focused, again, very hierarchical, very much about, you know, work, you know, again, grind culture, working and working until, you know, you can't, you, you're literally exhausted, not taking any holidays and that being glorified. Yeah. That kind of work ethic. We had a global pandemic. There's been a pause. There's been a stop. Um, and a lot of us have re re reassessed. Yeah. How we work. 
And so what I'm feeling here is that you've, you're kind of straddling both worlds here. You're kind of straddling the old world in which this was how things were done, you know, going for it, working at all costs, working all times, you know, just really being very ambitious um, and throwing all your energy behind it. And then this kind of other part, which I feel like is your body, I think it's your body and your spirit is saying, I need to rest. I need to take time out. I need to heal. And there's a bit of a contention here. I think you're worried about money, um, worried about, you know, losing that structure, losing what was beforehand. Um, so you're in this real, like I said, straddling these two worlds. It's interesting you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So the message here with that Knight of Pentacles here is that it doesn't mean that you, you know, life stops or it, it just means that, you know, or that you, or that you know, you, you're not going to have everything that you need materially. Um, but obviously we know the Knight of Pentacles is a slow mover. He's methodical, you know, contrasted with the King of Wands who's, you know, gets things done, goes for it, ambitious, wants to be at the forefront, wants to be, you know, in and amongst it, really pushing the boundaries forward. Um, and then you've got the Knight of Pentacles who's a little bit more slow, a little bit more considered. Yeah. And just there he's saying, look, there's no rush here. Yeah, even if you feel like that, there's no rush. You're going through a period of change and shift and this is necessary. And at this time, what you're doing is rebalancing things. This yin, this yang, yeah? Rebalancing things. Um, give it time, give it strength because you're learning a new way, a new way of doing things, new, a new way of doing things. But things are rebalancing. So just take, take this time and rest. Um, don't worry about money, things are changing, you're going to be learning a new way of managing your affairs and managing your energy and your work and your work-life balance. This very much feels like work-life balance here. There's anything else? No, I think that's it for now. Um, Again, thank you so much for watching. Do let me know if it resonates um, and do like, share and subscribe and I will see you again next time. Okay, hello and welcome in pile number two. Chose the Rider Waite Tarot. I'm just gonna get some energy um, oracle cards. So we get three of these and these will tell us the overall energy. All right, let's get into it. Hey spirit. Pile number two for whoever's watching please overall energy for this coming week all right seventh chakra okay all three lovely nicely done um oh attachment strategy all right so you're you're moving forward but you're being asked to look at things slightly differently. Um, this feels like a reassessment of the strategy as the hermit. Yeah, so it's it, you're being asked to go inside a little bit, yeah, and sort of re rethink about things and how you're doing things. Um, you're you're attached to a way of doing things so you're 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 attached to doing things a certain type of way um and this seventh chakra is your is your crown chakra yeah that's 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 the chakra of divine inspiration union um death card yeah so there's things that are going to have to go things are going to have to change if you're wanting to move forward in this more, it feels like a more um, spiritually aligned. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a spiritual path as in like, you know, um, you're doing um, so-called spiritual things, but it means that, 
but we're all spiritual beings. So no matter what we're doing, whatever walks of life or jobs or roles or lives that we're leading, we're all spiritual be beings. Um, and this feels just becoming more authentic, more aligned with your highest self. Um, and there's still just some letting go of like this kind of attachment is like your ego, um, which is like the stories we tell ourselves about who we are. And you're, you're being asked to release some of that. And I feel like you've done some of that already because you've got the hermit here. So you've obviously been going in doing some spiritual work here. Um, and this just feels like but there's just some more releasing that has to, to go or that you're in the process of still releasing. Um, but this is about planning. This is about looking forward. Strategy is about looking forward. Um, so this is preparation. Yeah. So you see this period is a preparation for what's to come. What's next. You're looking at your next move. You're looking at your next chapter. Let's see. Especially with that death card. Um, what else? Please, Queen of Wands, yeah. Ready to, you know, Queen of Wands has definitely got a strategy, yeah? Ready to go. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Focused on her dough, focused on her house. So this is to do with, right, this is to do with home, stability, grounding, money, material. This is, this is base chakra stuff here, yeah? Queen of Wands is looking at that. Let's see. Uh, oh, full. Okay. Let's see. This is all very positive, is what I would say. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about buying a house, because this also could be buying a house, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, saving up you know, strategy, thinking about, right, I want to buy a house or, you know, or invest in something that's going to make you feel rooted, grounded. Um, and this Queen of Wands is looking at this. This is where she's looking towards, right, you know, <laughs> I need to be about my money now. You know, I want to make sure that I've got a certain type of stability. Um, and this feels new. This feels like fresh. So wherever you're coming from, you know, and the hermit is quite lonely. You know, the hermit is and not necessarily lonely, alone, should I say. Um, the hermit works alone. Um, so there's something you've had to go through on your own to clear away things that are no longer serving you. That attachment is stuff that's not really serving you, not serving your highest good, not serving really, you know, where you want to go, your goals ultimately. Yeah, so you've had to let some stuff go. Let me get some clarifiers on the death card. What have we had to let go of? Spirit, please. What have we had to let go of? Tell me. What have we had to let go of? Tell me, Spirit, clarify. What have we had to let go of? Yeah, this feels like, I want to say indecision, imbalance. It's like, let me just get one more, please. Yeah, it's like you don't, like, it feels like a like lack of confidence as well. <laughs> yeah, um, especially with that two of, well, you've got two and then three of pentacles. Um, so what we're letting go of, yeah. So this two of pentacles feels like a little bit of a lack of confidence, yeah? A little bit of lack of belief in ourselves. You know, you know, you know, looking at that, maybe thinking, oh, you know, will I ever be able to buy my own house? Will I ever be able to attain these things? And that could be um, whatever those things are, like for our highest good, those things that call us to higher ideals, um, to reach for the stars, to, 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 to want something more than what we were given. Um, and this three of pentacles again feels like the rebuilding of that yeah so you've got the three of pentacles then the queen of wands so the queen of wands is very confident yeah queen of wands is a confident uh woman um doesn't have to be a woman it's a queen energy but you know very confident very attractive so it feels like you've been releasing some some of that like you know just not believing in yourself not having enough faith in yourself um 
and, and sort of not believing that you could you could build something quite special but particularly for three of pentacles that's my light workers card um so it's always building things in divine union like basically building things with the divine so you're not going off on your own you know going off on, a, on your own piece you're building co-creating with divine forces particularly with that seventh chakra doing that inner work of the hermit connecting to oneself finding the light the star within really going on that journey on your own um, and really figuring that out, allowing what needs to be released to be released. Um, you know, lack of belief in oneself. You know, again, like that's that sign of being indecisive. It's like not really knowing what you want, like not really knowing, like not being able to let sort of stamp your authority on life and say, this is what I want, this is who I am. You know, and that's very much about the Queen of Wands. It's very much like able to do that, stamp her authority on life and say, this is who I am, this is what I want and this is what I want to build. This is what I want to build. And like really being unapologetic for that, yeah? And that non-attachment doesn't feel like, oh, non-attachment to material things, even though we mustn't be too attached to material things, because remember that that's impermanent. They come, they go. Um, but this does feel like about attaining something, achieving something. Um, and if for you this is buying a home or building a home or at least finding more, uh, to be more settled materially and more comfortable, um, and I see you looking at this, um, looking at this and thinking that's what I want and I'm ready, ready to stamp my authority on life and, and build what I want. And the fool is just, this is incredibly positive. So this is a very new journey for you, um, but beautiful. Oh, the fool is my, I just love this because it, it, the fool is always about hope because it's always about, look, it doesn't matter what's gone on in the past. We can hope, we can bring hope again. We can look forward and imagine and, um, you know, and, 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 and have an imagination about what's possible. So hold on to that. That's a very beautiful thing. You know, let yourself release any, any feelings of not being confident, not feeling like you're good enough, or not feeling like indecision, um, uh, you know, and really connecting to what you want. Releasing those any stories of the past that tell you that you're this kind of person that can't achieve these things. It's about letting that go. Start to connect with the divine. Um, you're starting to co-create with the divine. You're starting to get more confident in this. You're letting go what needs to be let go of. And you're ready to build something that means something very much to you. You're ready to work with a strategy, have a goal. Um, and this is a very hopeful time. Um, so, anything else before? I think that's it. Um, yeah, I would just say this is a really hopeful time. So stay in that place of hope. Stay in that place of, of self-belief. Um, you've got everything that you need. Um, you're in this journey. You're in this process. Um, you're building this thing that really means something to you and I really wish you the best of luck um, so as always you know do let me know in the comments if that resonates um, and do like share and subscribe and thank you again for watching and I will see you again next time I'm gonna get some energy oracle cards first of all so these just give us the overall energies so <clears throat> pile number three spirit Whoever's watching, what are the energies we're working with this week, please? Pile number three. Pile number three, please. All right. Appreciation. Taking a moment to smell the roses. This is my gratitude card. Appreciating what we have. Gratitude practice is always very helpful. A daily gratitude practice really helps us to connect with the blessings that we do have. Let's see what we needing to be appreci appreciative of, uh, appreciative, appreciative of. Um, angel of love. Okay, financial constraints. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 
And we'll see what the cards say. Pile number three. So. This feels like, so I'm going to tell you a story. Um, I was going through a difficult time financially in my life. Um, it wasn't really genuinely. A lot of it was about worrying about financial because you've got financial constraints, angel of love and appreciation. Um, and I remember saying to a friend, like, it's, you know, because it's very important for me to get out in nature, be around nature, um, for all of us um, as human beings to be around nature. Um, and I remember just being in this really anxious place and, and I was like, I need to go out, go for a walk and kind of like clear my head. And I remember thinking, what, what can these trees do for me? Basically, I remember just thinking, well, what could these, you know, these trees aren't going to pay my rent. So, um, and, um, but I went out and nevertheless, the trees worked their magic. Um, and what that did was de-stressed in order to find the inspiration and find the energy and the motivation to get myself out of the situation that I was at that time. And really not even get myself out of the situation, but get myself out of the mindset, which then helped me get out of the situation. And that's what this feels like. So it feels like you've got financial constraints, which is obviously money worries, yeah? And that could be anxiety of any kind. Um, but this appreciation is, it's also my Nine of Pentacles card. It's a card of accomplishment, but also the card of, you know, taking a moment, you know, like um, literally walking past roses and literally taking a smell and reminding yourself, oh my gosh, roses smell so good. Um, and there might be a time, you know, when we're feeling anxious about things, we think, I ain't got time for that. I haven't got time to be appreciating smelling roses. I haven't got time for all of that. But actually that's really when you need to really connect with that energy because that's what can break these constraints that are on you. An angel of love is, this is divine love. Yeah, this is like divine. And, and for me, love is expansion. Like love expands, love opens, love gives space, love offers us um, healing and a place to be. Um, and that's what feels like it's needed in order for inspiration to come in and, uh, and these constraints um, can change, break, shift, evolve. Let's see what the cards say. This could also be in the area of love. This could also be being in financial constraints after a difficult time in the area of love. Let's see what the cards say. All right, I can't take all of those. So, uh, part number three, whoever's watching, please. Yeah. Four of, four of cups, again, is my lack of gratitude card. It's sort of like when we, when we are seeing the worst, and it doesn't mean that things aren't difficult, but it just means that we're choosing to see the worst of that situation, which means that that's preventing us from seeing a positive route out, yeah? Um... Card number three, so whoever's watching, please clarify. Clarify, please. Um, I'm gonna take all of those. Um, okay, pile number three. I saw the moon card, um, but I won't take it. All right, so we've got two of, yeah, two of swords, seven of pentacles, um, temperance, okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Two swords. You know, battling with yourself. Yeah? Because that's always head and heart. That's your, your head says, you know, God, God, like it's your head that sounds like anxious. Yeah? It's the mind. It's the ego. It's the stories. It's all of that where we like, you know, there's panic. There's, there's, there's worry. There's fear. There's, you know, there's anxiety. All comes from the mind. All comes from this place. Heart always knows angel of love heart always knows heart is expansive heart has got ideas heart's got inspiration heart's got trust heart is connected to source 
um, knows what's going on, understands that it's just a temporary thing that's happening. And it just feels like we just need to reconnect to that, yeah? Um, easier said than done, I know, of course. And this is why daily gratitude uh, practice is good. I, so I have a, 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 um, a gratitude journal I write in every day. And I'm gonna be honest, there's some days when I feel more grateful than others. But it, what, what that practice forces me to do is, is think about things that I can be grateful for, um, even when I'm not feeling grateful. And actually, even when I'm not feeling grateful, it's a chance to even observe that. And so it's not, you know, you don't have to change that until you recognise that, oh, yeah, I'm disconnected from that, from that, from that source energy, yeah? And you've got two patience cards here, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, both speak about patience. Temperance, yeah? Tempering things down, not this anxiety to get things done and go somewhere and, you know, make it be what, it ne what you think it needs to be or, you know, what the mind thinks it needs to be. And then just surrendering and softening into divine trust. Um, more, please. Spirit. Child number three, whoever's watching. Okay. Okay, so we've got the devil here. <clears throat> Death. Hierophant. Well, you know, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty straightforward, really. Um, you know, devil... Again, the devil, you know, it could, it could be really toxic behaviours, could be addictions, um, whatever those addictions are. Um, really recommend looking up Gabor Mate's uh, definition of addiction, um, because it could be anything. But it's anything in our life with which we don't have control over and that causes a negative consequence that we're not able to free ourselves from, yeah? Um... So whatever that might be, could be shopping, could be sex, could be pornography, could be drugs, or just could be anything else, yeah? Um, and that death says, it's gotta go. It's really gotta go. Easier said than done. Um, but here, you know, your last four cards are all major arcanas. Um, temperance, you know, is comes right after the devil. Um, sorry, before the devil actually, not after. Um, temperance comes after death. Um, yeah, and I think this is really, this, whatever this is, um, and it might be someone around you as well, so take it how it fits. Um, but it, it really feels like needing to break a bit of, a, break a little bit of a deadlock here, break a little bit of a cycle, break something that's kind of not working, yeah? Um, and come back to source with that Hierophant there that's just like coming back to source energy coming back to divine love coming back to the divine it's not too late you know if that's financial constraints as in that's gambling if that addiction is gambling but again it doesn't really matter what it is um, but what you need to know is two things which I found really interesting like watching Gabor Mate talk about addiction um, you know he really talks about um you know, through his research, realizing that when basically when when we're addicted to something, we're trying to fill fill something inside of ourselves, something that feels empty, something that feels so we're trying to get close to happiness, satisfaction, connection, feeling good, feeling like that release. So whatever that might be, if that's food, like I said, shopping, whatever it might be, but there's a release, a feeling of like ah, oh, like you're trying to fill something inside of yourself. Um, when really, ultimately, there's only one thing that can fill us that way, and that's source, that's source energy. Um, and like I said, I feel like we've kind of, you know, cut, like f fallen a little bit away from our connection to source um, and needing to find our way back. And this isn't about accusations, judgment, you know, berating. This is really about kindness, compassion, patience, gentleness with oneself, yeah? Gently, taking your time. And you know, even that, that financial constraints is about gambling, you know, 
if you've spent too much money just gambling um, and there's a lot of guilt around that which there would be with the devil and it's like the death is like just let that you know just yeah it's like that you 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 just reconnect to source I say just reconnect to source yeah I said these things are easier said than done anything else I just think there's a little bit of stuck energy, we're stuck in a little bit of a loop, yeah? So whatever that is, that loop of like, there's a story going around at the moment, in the head, in the mind, there's just a story that's going around, and it's a very negative one, it's one, you know, you know, ideas about, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, everything's rubbish, everything's not very good, you know, everything's falling apart, you know, it's my fault, or, you know, it's all just terrible and it's bad and and I just feel like you know you're stuck between this story that's going around in the mind in the loop and then there's a part of you that connect your heart your your you know your crown chakra to connect what well, our bodies generally like I said we're spiritual beings so all of us are spiritual beings so all of us have the capacity for that connection um, and I think it's just about kind of clearing away some of what's preventing you to feel that connection and feel filled by divine you know divine love and divine source and whatever these constraints are and they may be financial and that may be very real um but whatever these constraints are this you i feel like whatever ways you're trying to get out of these constraints actually there's another way and it seems like the least obvious like I said, to go to the park and be with the trees. Like, you know, what are the trees going to do? <laughs> what are the trees going to help me? But what they do is they kind of slow you down, connect you with source energy, and then you remember. Then divine inspiration. Then the heart opens. Um, then we can start to see the way forward. Yeah? Suddenly we're not constrained anymore. Suddenly there's an opening and there's inspiration that can come through. Um, suddenly we can start to look at things slightly differently. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think just go steady. Go easy with yourself. Um, this is a learning process. Um, in terms of this addiction, whatever that is, I don't think the focus should be on the addiction. I think the focus should be coming back to source. Again, smelling the roses you know, appreciating, maybe starting a gratitude practice, maybe start to connect with those, um, those sources of divine love, angel of love, divine love, you know, source energy. Um, just, I think that should be the focus. Um, and then you'll start to see the other things start to fall away. Yeah, you start to make more space for that in your life. So again, like I said, easier said than done. Um, I wish you all the very best. I hope that resonates. Please do let me know. Um, and do let me know how you get on. And um, again, thank you, for, thank you again for watching. Uh, do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you again next time.